and welcome everybody to my Cheyenne pen packing black and shading video. Now, this video is how I personally pack the black, shade it, blend it, and all that good shit. Now, before I begin, I want you guys to know that this is all based on my own personal experience. Everyone has their own journey. This is just mine. So, if you have a difference of opinion in a negative light, please promptly suck a very hard dick and fuck everything you believe in. So, again, this is all opinion based on my own experience and knowledge thus far. So, now that we got all the stupid stuff out of the way, go ahead and hit the like button for me. It really does help me out. Share with your friends and family and subscribe if you already have it. Now, this is a fan requested video. I'm gonna keep it very short because this depends on your tattooing training or lack thereof, either way. But for packing, I use a couple of styles. This is what I like to call the shovel style, where basically you can go slow and then you can speed it up to kind of stay away from that pepper shading that people get. This is more of a brush stroke that I use. It's a little longer, uh, if you want long dig it, <laughs> but it does work very well. Now the slower you go, the blacker and the thicker you pack it. I'm currently running it at a 70 for the power unit two, which is roughly about seven volts. Roughly I say, cause I don't really fucking know. I don't know whether it's seven, eight or nine volts, but on the power unit two, it does say 70. And I wanna attribute that to about seven volts because it's how my coils used to run. Now, what I'm demonstrating here is a longer stroke to show how to lightly blend. And again, this is practice skin. This isn't real skin, obviously. So it's gonna behave a little bit different, but it still does show that gradation as you kind of whip it out. And I'm using a very light hand as I do this when it comes to shading. And I do go very slow when I want it to be a little bit blacker. But when I do want it to be a little bit lighter, I do move my hands a little bit faster. But again, this is all within my comfort zone, what I have picked up over the years, things I have learned and um, from other artists and being critiqued. And obviously we all, um, whom want to be better will grow from getting critiqued, which I definitely um, you know, suggest you do. But when it comes to this, that's pretty much it. There's not too much science behind it. If you want that nice, uh, that nice black, you can either do the figure eight, which I'm gonna demonstrate here in a little bit, or you can do the whole circles, cause circles works great for packing, but for shading and for giving a nice smooth blend out, get a nice stretch on the skin, and then go ahead and just move your hand fairly quickly and you'll get this nice seamless blend out from your shading or at least that's what I have found that works best with the pen in my hand. How it works in your hand, it's completely, it will be completely different depending on your training, lack thereof, or you know variables like that. So if you have any questions at further from this, please go ahead and uh, you can leave a comment below and I'd be more than glad to go ahead and answer your question directly. But for me, this is pretty much how it goes. I put it at a seven, at a 70, I apologize. And then I just move my hand faster if I want a nice blend. Here it does look kind of pepper shaded, but that's because this is, you know, synthetic skin and I can't really stretch it. I could pull it as best as I can, but it takes a lot more passes. And in practice skin, I have also seen that you kind of need to slow down and go over it a few more times than you would in real skin, because real skin is a little bit more reactive. You do have a lot of plasma that does play into lightening the black as you go through. It does lighten it for you and give you those values that you really need when it comes down to producing those nice smooth blends in your gray wash. Um, but that's pretty much it. And once again, if you like the video, go ahead, leave a comment, hit the like button. It really does help me out and lets other people see the video. And uh, thank you to the uh, person who went ahead and suggested this video. Here's to you, kid. And here's the power unit at 70 or seven. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day. Happy tattooing. Peace out, y'all.